Sorry about that. It comes with um, a kit that shows you uh, res uh, resistors with different uh, resistance and stuff like that. Little key code there. I haven't played around with this yet. I just got this, so. A keypad. And all kind of little goodies in there. So there's a limit switch in here and a sound detector. And so what she can do with this is she can build little projects out of this. And the way that works is she would download all of the software um, that she'd need to use for the Raspberry Pi on a computer. She'd install the, the operating system for this with that little SD card. Um, she it, it comes with a little dongle that you can put, it, put into a computer. And then she'd download the operating system and then she'd install that on the Raspberry Pi. And then in this kit, there's a website that you can go to that you can download all the projects from start to finish. And it, and it steps you through how to install Raspbian on this Raspberry Pi. And then it takes you all the way through doing all of the projects in, 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 in this, it comes with, like I said, it comes with a bunch of different stuff that you can do. Um, comes with, um, little sensors, led lights that you can write code to turn on and off. That's a motion sensor. More LEDs. This is a um, switch that opens and closes. And so she could use this to um, open up and close stuff. Like, think of like a lock. Right? There's resistors. There's a breadboard in there. Deep down in there is a motor and some other electronic stuff, speaker and stuff. So, yep. So this kit <clears throat> costs about $45, $46, I think. Um, and then the, like I said, the Raspberry Pi itself, it costs about $130 for the Canna kit. And the Canna kit comes with everything that you need to start it up. And so um, I'd encourage you to get one of those. And then with the Canna kit, um, or with the Raspberry Pi, I should say, I'm going to close something in there on the way. She can still code. So I think she's told me that she's been using Scratch, which is an application that you can use. Raspberry comes with Scratch. So if she's used to using Scratch, she'll be very familiar with how to use it. And so um, just getting it installed, getting her a keyboard. She'll also need, if you can see on the side here, oh, other side, Alex. She'll need access to some kind of a TV with an HDMI display. Um, it comes with a mini HDMI to regular HDMI port on there. A couple of them there. And so um, just like hook it up to a TV or something like that. That'll work. I have this one hooked up to our TV in our room. And so um, you can do a million things with these things. Um, they're really handy. And they're great tools to get into um, coding and development and stuff like that. So um, if you have any questions, I'll put this video out and I'll post a link to it, shoot it to you. But if you have any questions, um, like I said, uh, you can get the kit on Amazon, the Canna kit. It comes with the fan and it comes with everything that you need to start up a Raspberry Pi. And then um, I just got a text from Pastor about helping somebody. Um, and then um, and then you can uh, um, start coding. She can start doing her thing. So let me know. Take care.